Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss multi-threaded SSH application with Libre SSH. In previous video, we made a demonstrate how to build a SSH application. The example we will use in previous video is build a simple SSH client which is able to run command on the remote host. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to build a multi-thread SSH application. Here on the Linux, we just create a simple SSH command dot cpp and in this program, we first declare the struct which stores our all the parameters required for the build a session. So it's a server part, login ID, password, and the command. It's we are going to run it on the remote session. And uh, this is the default constructor. We just set up default, all the parameter with zero and the memory setting of the server, login ID, password, and the command. And after that, we build a function, simple function, return type is an integer, and uh, which take uh, all these parameter of this called a function called the sh session functions. So in this function, we're going similar as the preview video. We first start a new sh session using the sh init, sh new. Second, after that, we set up the session option using the function sh option set, which we set up option the host, the part, and the log parameter. So we are going to set up this with no log, and so because it's just a demo. And after that, step three, we are going to connect, make a connection of a session to the remote, called the sh connect, and after that, we are going to authenticate the first the no host, you know, as a SSH protocol, you have to build a connection and set up the public key and the no host, and then we can verify this. If this is no host, okay, and we verify the user authentication, which is the login and the password for the remote. If everything's okay, then we copy the parameter of a command to the M command and then we call our function run remote cmd which pass the session and the command. So this function is doing is pass the session and the command. It's doing the start a channel which is a new channel, session channel new of this session which is and under this session channel and open a new session, sub session for the channel which is a SS channel open session. And after that, we just send the request, execution request to the remote, which pass by command. We're going to pass from the parameter of this function. After we send the request, we just using the SSH channel read function to read the response from the remote. And then we send the end of channel end of EOF and the channel close, and uh, then we free the channel, and uh, after everything is okay, we just return back. So, so after run the command on the remote, and then we disconnect to the session, we free the session, it could uh, finalize the, this uh, SSH, we return back this function. So in the main function, what we designed to do, we use a command, take a few parameters, server, part, login ID, and command, one, two, three, four. So we start uh, in, uh, initialize our parameter called mparam, and uh, initialize a vector, and uh, for called a cmd vector, and the com command argument uh, one, two, three is for the server, to the parameter part and the 
to the parameter login ID and from the argument the for up is the command which we store in our vector using the vector pushback and uh, after that we using the sh get a password get a password input from console or terminal and then we after that we get a total command from the vector size and we make a loop each loop we parameter TID we put the I just for the sequence and we get a command string and copy to the parameter T command and then we code our function with the parameter we just build up and after that we clean the vector and return back so let's save program make this program so we compile this let's go to other terminal run this so we run the command with a server which is the local host part number login id we just pass three commands first is rs minus rtxt second we try to run the who third one we try to run the rs minus r star json and uh, so we can enter and the password is so you can see we are running the first command we get a result of first command and uh, we run a second command in the session and then we get a result of a second command and we start a third command and we run the, get a result from that this is uh, the way we are running not in thread in the sequence so one finish run another so right right now we are trying to build as this topic of this video to run this uh, sh session and uh, in parallel in multi-threading so let's go back to our program and uh, parameter we are not change function exact same and in our main function the command input is a syntax we are going to keep the same we are still co uh, copy the argument to the parameter server part login id and uh, we push the command into our command vector we save our vector and get the password and now we got a total command how we get from command line instead of we just running function we try to use it and one of the pre video we introduced std future and a sync to build a threading running so we create a std future i enter and call my th list of total of element which is uh, we got from the total which command size and in this one we do the same thing copy the parameter instead of directly running we are going to use it std async h is a function with parameter we build a create a threading of this function and after that we make another loop to get the result which is from the zero to total command so and after that we just save this program we make the recompiling okay now we recompiled go to other terminal so this is the result we running without threading which is the sequence one two three and then now we running the same command as we are let's see what's going on so you can see the result is different because we running threading parallel so our three session is starting 
contemporary in parallel. And our result is running after back. So our starting, because it's in threading, it's not a second like a zero, one, two, it's a start at zero, two, one, it depends, so because in parallel, and uh, even the result is different, so this one is the command, rs star ltx, this is the command star rs minus star trees, and this is the command of a who, so this demonstrates. It's uh, how to build a SH application running in parallel. This is uh, very useful if you have a project on multi-distributed environment, which you can send in a SH uh, session in parallel to different uh, hosts and just uh, getting back to your own uh, current uh, host. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.